Hooray! <laughs> that was a great intro, wasn't it? Anyways, coming along here. So, we just finished with um, Speed Highway in the last episode. So, here we're gonna go to our magic ball because my memory is crap from this game. Oh, you have to find Amy. I remember this actually. You have to go to the casino area, and I'm pretty sure from that area you can see her. But let's find out if I'm correct about that. Indeed, I am! This activates a cutscene. Uh oh, looks like I'm dropping some frames. Hopefully, that's not too much of a hinder on the video. Anyways, you see Amy there. Basic stuff. And I think this is actually where the egg carrier comes into play, but... Like I said, my memory from this game isn't too good. I might be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure that's right. I remember this... What? It's big! Don't know. Big. Favorite character in the Sonic series, by far. But we'll be getting more into that later. Door. Look how big. Alrighty. You have to go to the Mystic Ruins, don't you? Let's see. Yep, called it. Alrighty. So, don't know how he gets for the Mystic Ruins from the Twinkle Park Tunnel, but he does. So, let's go along here. Take the train down to the Mystic Ruins. Hunk of junk. That's a creative one. The cheesy one-liners in this game are just amazing. I'm sorry. Sonic's the king of it, though. Can't deny that. So, yeah, it looks like it's setting up for an awesome epic boss fight between Sonic and Zero, but nope. Out of nowhere, the egg carrier's just like, Hey, I'm here, and it sucks up Zero and Amy, and ruins your chance of getting Amy back, and killing Zero. So, as you might guess, we're gonna be introduced to the next... We're gonna be introduced to the next adventure field in the game, very soon. Which is the egg carrier. And preceding that, I believe we're gonna be introduced to Sky Chase Subgame Act 2. And that's gonna suck dick. Hurry, Sonic, get to the mountaintop. You still have time. Fortunately, before that horrid Sky Chase subgame, we get to get to the mountaintop. Gotta hurry. As quick as possible. As I say that I run into walls. Alright, so going to the mountaintop as quick as possible. This is actually the next level of the game. Oh no, I always forget how to do this. Do we have to, no, wait. Next power up in the game, now I remember. Now I remember, alright. This is the, the ancient light. light. Try the light speed dash toward the enemy. With this, you can now do the light Yep, speed this attack. is what we need to get into the next level. Whoops. Charge up and attack here. Ready. And you break that open and it opens the gate. Now this, my this is my favorite level in the entire game, Red Mountain. I love this level. The music here is epic. The level itself is epic. Just everything about it. Although I don't like using the word epic since it's overused to hell nowadays. It's just amazing. Incredible. I just really like it. That's about it. Chase the egg carrier. Let's do this. They're coming along here. Almost died there. That would have been bad. Climb along this thing. 
kill some enemies just for the fuck of it. For the fuck of it. Don't sign me. Oh well. Let's continue along here. <coughs> Voice crack. Simple as that. <laughs> some rockets require you to push a switch. Two feet up. <sighs> Two feet over. Switch. That's not obvious. Along here, try not to get hit by this monkey, it's derpin'. Get hit by this shit. Just like the ice and um, ice cap, if you stay on that too long, you'll fall with it because those platforms break. What the fuck am I doing? Checkpoint. Spike ball. <laughs> Spike ball again. What am I doing so bad today? Free life here. A lot like Clover needed. By the end of this playthrough, we'll probably have like 25 lives. Already have 16. And we've only died once. I, run I mean, twice actually, I think. Yeah, twice. Why am I trying to kill this thing? I don't even... I don't even need to. What am I doing? Go along this cool zip line action, and you'll be right here to another checkpoint. Ten rings, and I believe down here there's another life. No, more rings. Break that from the bottom rather than the top, and you can spring right up here. Go along here, and we've got another switch activated rocket, and the switch is right here, so that's literally pointless. And I saw something. Yeah, another life. Well, you know, this game just throws lives out at you. I'm sorry, but it's ridiculous and unnecessary. Because, I mean, it's not really a problem, but it's just unnecessary because you die so little in this game, and it gives you so, so many lives. Along here, past the fire thing. This one's self explanatory, just homing tack your way across onto the switch. Onto the switch. Onto this switch. This is great commentary, don't you guys agree? This switch, this switch, this switch, this switch. Just elaborate, amazing, thoughtful commentary. Alright, now, going along here. Got, if I would have gone to the switch on the right, I could have gotten some more things, but that's not a big deal. No. Oh, shit. That could have been ugly. Got this thing stomping the switch to add that 1% challenge to it. Could have gotten a ring if I did that right, but I didn't. I mean, not a ring. A life. <laughs> yeah, I could have gotten a ring, guys. I only have 55. Not enough. Oh, shit. How did I survive? Whatever. I'll take it. Zip line here. And you'll be able to come down to the next part of the level, which is amazing. Badass music, badass scenery, badass Sonic, whatever. Alright, we got speed shoes here, so we can blast through here. Getting a crap load of rings. Good thing I had the shield, or else I would have lost all of my rings that I just commented about having a crap load of. Although I have been losing a lot of rings lately. Alright, so we've got another checkpoint here, and, a ever and this part is pretty cool. All the pillar things start falling, and you have to use them as platforms before they sink. Or else you're pretty much screwed. And the lava starts rising. Oh god, these enemies, I hate them. 20 ring caps right there, that's pretty nice. Okay, let's not accidentally homing attack those. Going along here, we've got more of those annoying fire things. Don't that could have been bad. 
Alright. Spring it onto this platform, and you have to go onto homing attack path. This is a pretty self-explanatory level, and it's actually, and it's also really good in my eyes. Favorite one in the game, like I said before. And with this music, in both the outer area and this area, how can you not like this level? I honestly don't get it. Alright, we've got some free capsules over here. Actually, let's grab those. That's a lot of rings. 70 rings right there. Might as well be doing the 400 coin mission in Casinopolis, why don't we? Speaking of which, let's not lose those rings to a stupid fire thing or these hammers. No, let's not glitch out the camera either. That's not a good idea. Got these weird spider things. Hate spiders. And with that, we're done with this level. Great level. Yes. And we're getting all these animals that we don't even need right now. But we'll need them later. Or, well, we won't... We'll, can't talk today. Well, we won't need them, but... They're a nice addition to a certain aspect of the game that I'll show off later. Really racking up the rings here. Alright, so after you've gone up the mountain and chased the egg carrier down, it activates another cutscene. Kale's epic theme song. Roger. Wonder why they came up with that theme, that phrase, Roger. Oh no. No, no. Okay, you know what, guys? We'll be tackling this in the next episode. Dear God, why now? Goodbye.